walked in with the plug. What's good? It's your boy TZ with the Plug Radio right LA, and this segment is called MC Trills. Like I said, we're going on a road trip, a West Coast road trip. With that being said, we have a very special artist coming to perform for you today. It's a live performance by none other than from Inglewood, California, Doug the Plug. When I stand, I'm finna run up and check The way I do make you sweat I put my foot on the neck Can't say no day I can't rest I want the money, the power, respect How you gon' win if you don't take a risk The way my wrist I cost more than your lip I can pop a nigga just like a Zed Y'all be capping, watch you sing like a shit Y'all just capping when you say how you live You the type to get the club and don't tip I'm the type that make it rain, pay your rent I'ma put you in position to win She came with the love, cause you're not like the one she know it for the win. 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 I ain't not regular. I be getting money on the regular. Pull them to the side, leave your pennies up. She gon' let a nigga slide to get in the guts. Are you tryna waste your time like I'm in a rush? Blue bugs, something didn't keep my interest. Yeah, nigga had to run to get his niggas up. All my life. This song, you talking about you finna win, they know you finna win, like, what got you behind this and the music behind it? Uh, well, finna win, I just came up with it, you feel me, I don't be writing, so I just, you know, I was thinking one day, like, you know, we finna win, like, everything I'm saying, I talk, I talk about how my life is, and mm. I want everybody to be able to relate to it, and if, you know, you finna win, or you feel like you winning, that's it's something that everybody can kind of relate to, and, and, you know, we finna win, just go hard. Yeah. So, so you feel like you're an inspiration to people? I mean, it's, I, I hope I could be the inspiration of some people. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not everybody, but some people. Hopefully. Well, there it is. You heard it right here on the Plug Radio LA. MC Trills. He finna win. So, hey. All right, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get it. Hey, oh, quick question. You ready to do an interview? Oh, yeah. You already know. All right. All right. All right well, I'm going to hook you up with Chrissy Love, and we're going to get you down for an interview at the hookup. All right, bet. I'm sorry. All right, man. Appreciate it. You know I'm always good when you dug the plugs around. <laughs> so tell everybody who you are, what you do, where you're from, but most important, how you do it. Yeah, well I'm Doug the Plug. I'm from Inglewood, California. You know, I write music, I produce, I direct, I do everything, man. I'm really plugged in, you feel me? So, <laughs> so you are plugged in. That's the thing about it. Um, and the, I think I've told, it, told this to you before. Why do you give me like the nervous effect? Man, I don't like, know. <laughs> and I remember I told you that, and then you had said, you know, a lot of people tell me that, but I think it's because, and I know it's because you invest a lot into yourself. Yeah, and I just come along with the grind. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to succeed, whatever you do, I, I, I feel like it's necessary to uh, go get it when you have the means to do it. Um, build a team, and and always stick to grinding to your dreams and. And your goals that you want to pursue if you dream it you know you could do anything and if you had the opportunities like 
you just got to take full advantage of whatever you can and just make it happen and keep um, room for yourself, you know. Somebody, you got to believe in yourself before somebody else do, so. Yeah, so true. So I just keep, you know, grinding. You do, and I think this reverts back to the topic of the show today is setting free. Yeah. Um, and as I said, like, it's when we set free of things in the past that have held us back and we start to realize, oh, why did those things hold us back? And that kind of opens up pathways for us to move into a more positive future. And I know I had hit you up on this too because I was like, one day I went to sleep and I listened to Doug the Plug's music. I love it. And I woke up the next day and I was like, damn, now I'm listening to Doug the Plug's music. Like, I feel like that all came because you set free of a lot of stuff in your past and it really transpired you into the star you are today. Like I said, you gotta really believe in your own dreams and your own vision and if you got some, some talent, so it's just getting back into the groove of things and I really just felt like, you know, mm -hmm. I got it. So, I, um, you know, putting every effort in now, so, you know, to reach that goal where I can. And it's just, let's make it happen, you know what I'm saying? It's the only way to go is to the top, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm repping, three T's, you feel me, to the top, so. It's the only way is up, you know Ooh. what I'm saying? So three T's to the top. Yeah, to the, the top. The only way up. I heard so that. As I said, you invest a lot into yourself, mm -hmm. but you invest a lot into your visuals. So like, what is what's the inspiration behind the visuals that you keep putting out? Because I've seen it from when you first started. So you had um, making moves, grind time, apply pressure. You just recently put out say what, and now you're mm -hmm. putting out more content, more content. So. Give us yeah. a, a secret of your inspiration. And what uh, keeps you going. <laughs> content is everything. You gotta show that. You gotta show what you're doing. Everybody wants to see everything is social, so everybody want to see you working. Everybody want to see me. The way I was raised, I was raised to keep your business private. I was a private person. I never been the type to like engage or just to be so into myself. Like a lot of people, no disrespect, but you know, respectfully, people always in the camera. I was never like that. I just make stuff. You know, I just make it happen, and I just you know live my life like that but uh, being an artist you got to show what you're doing so when I when it comes to my visuals I just feel like um, everything needs to be uh, really just shown like and when you on a type of level that like I'm trying to be at they want to see that you know what I'm saying so you got to show them that you got to show them that you're really doing it really getting it as far as me and my content so I just feel like they want to see that stuff I try to make things relatable um, and just give them the whole the whole around aspect of like my whole persona and what, and what I'm into and it's music and it's like you know I create everything so a lot of the things I could direct it and be like you know this is where I see the vision um, let's make it happen sometimes it doesn't come out as as well as planned but it's still working you got to make it look good and you just got to keep going you know you only get better with time that's what I'm saying like everything is growth and like you know when, when things grow, it sprouts up, you know, it's like, that's what I'm saying, that's yeah. why everything's, yeah. it's just growing, yeah. it's just growing and getting better and getting better, getting better until, yeah. you know, until everybody, you know, noticing what I'm doing. So. It's true, and I've seen that growth in you, and it's honestly because you know your worth, and that shines in everything you do, because you're not just out there, oh, I'm just gonna make music, this is your life, this All is your right. career, so for those that are out there right now, if you could say something to them about, you know, they want to make it, but they don't really know how to get started or they don't feel inspired to do so. I mean, what is Doug the Plug's words of wisdom to somebody right now? My words of wisdom is never quit. You have to chase your dreams and you got to go for it. If you want to do something in life, just do it. You know what I'm saying? You can't settle no matter what. I even, you know, applaud you because, <laughs> you know, you grind it. You're you the yeah. hardest grinder I've ever seen and I, and I know. So, um, thank you. Uh, you just gotta make it happen and and just keep putting it forward because if that's what you want to do in life, you only get one life, you know, Ooh, that you know. So, so yeah. if, if that's what you want to do, take the time to do it. Even if, you know, work, you know, work a job, putting those extra hours. That's where it counts because once the opportunity, I feel like everybody's gonna get that opportunity if they keep grinding and they keep moving forward. You're yes. always gonna get your opportunity, and when you get your shot, you gotta go for it, and you just gotta keep. You know, keep grinding, keep putting that foot forward, letting it be seen. Now we're in a social environment where you got to show what you're doing and if that's what you want to do, if you want to sell houses, you know, study. You got to do research. You got to study. You got to put in time because nothing's given to you. It's just not going to be handed to you. You know, so some true. people are blessed. Some people, you know, get into that lane where they could get it. But 
a lot of us aren't that fortunate. So, you know what I'm saying? Put in that work. Put in those 10,000 hours that they say. I, I feel like I done put in like 20,000 hours. You He's know putting I mean? a lot of hours. So, it's just. And a lot of hours like, on the DL that we probably don't know about. Right, because right, like yeah. you said, you move in silence. So. Right, right. So <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> Doug is like, got a whole album done with five visuals. <laughs> like, right, I just right. like literally blink my eye. Oh my God. So, you're really serious. Which is great because that's that business persona of you. But I want to know the fun side of you. So <laughs> we've been on lockdown, and I know you like to chill and everything. But what are some of the spots in LA that you miss going to, or perhaps oh, performing at? <laughs> I guess the only place. I mean, the club Playhouse used to be fun. It's mm, going to Playhouse. Playhouse, yes. Playhouse, crazy girls, right at the Playhouse, go to the shoe club. On a better note, it's really kind of locked you down a little bit more, so that you can make these hits. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I mean, I got my. Whole my little setup at, at the crib so I just whenever I feel like making music I've been trying to do a song a day Ooh. just uh, working on an album just you know whenever I could just sit down and just get some beats or do something I haven't really been uh, making no beats lately um, I've just been writing and coming up with uh, songs and stuff to uh, drop an album soon are you usually like creative or like how's that um it just depends on my moods mostly and how my day went. If I had a long, if I had a, like a pretty good day, smooth day, I could just, you know, sit there. I like to, you know, but that's when I'm at home. I usually like to be in the studio because it's just for the vibe and stuff like that. So as far as putting out your music, what would you say is the best platform for artists to feature their music on? Um, I would say the best platform would probably be either DistroKid or... TuneCore, whatever those platforms are that could get your music on every single platform. Because if you upload your music to DistroKid, they'll um, send your music everywhere. So shout out DistroKid. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out TuneCore because those are the platforms that I use. And another thing that a lot of artists don't know is that when you create a song and it's original, make sure you register your songs to a um, registration BMI or ASCAP. And that's the only thing I could say. Plans. What can we expect coming down the line from you? Please tell me. Um, you know, to the top is my new thing. So, uh, fr from there, um, I've been working on a mixtape with my boy Jerry West. You know, we've been working on hella music together. Um, shout out Jerry West, you know, West Coast shit. But, uh, and then I'm doing an um, individual project on my own that I plan on dropping right after that. So, be looking at before March, uh, coming on, you know, coming on that because I'm working real hard on these uh, songs right now. Nice. And yeah, so I got a project and now I plan on at least shooting at least three or four visuals. Okay, perfect. Um, for this is going to be project, great. So. Yes, I'm excited. I'm definitely excited. So I know you guys are excited. So tell everybody where they can find you, Mr. Duck the Plug. Um, yeah, you can find me. Um, all my handles is Doug the Plug. You can really Google me. I should pop up. Nah. <laughs> but uh, for real though, nah, my handles are uh, Doug the Plug underscore on IG. Doug the Plug. Uh, Doug the Plug. Yeah, Doug the Plug. Apple Music, Spotify, Say What. We just shot this vi video mm -hmm. and just dropped it at the beginning of this year. So I'm pretty much everywhere. Just look for me. Doug the Plug. I'm not hard to find. Doug, thank you so much for coming in. You know I love you a lot. Yeah, you know I always got your back. You know the Plug Radio Late inspires you to keep going because we believe in you. Always, thank you. What's good, it's your boy TZ with The Plug Radio LA and this is The Plug Spin Wheel. We got Doug The Plug. Ooh. And of course I got Chrissy Love. Are you ready? Are you ready? Get this started. Oh, no? Go ahead. Sing a note of an old school song. <laughs> la 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 means I love you. All right. All right. Woo! All right. <laughs> all right. Nice. Taking it all the way back. Hey. All right. <laughs> I don't even know purple. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. My first purple, purple rain impression. I don't know what purple rain. Purple rain. You want to have a rain? <laughs> That'll work. I don't know. What he did. What are you doing? You doing? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't done that one. Hey, that'll work. One more time. Hey, one more time. Yeah, we'll make this one count. Ooh. 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 I believe. Uh oh. Down for this. Spiritually, right. religiously, what? I believe that. Uh, I believe in aliens. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Hey, <laughs> that was more. What you mean you believe in aliens? 
Nice. I believe that, um, you know, there's a lot of planets out there, so. So, well, you heard it here on the Plug Radio LA at the, the Plug Spin Wheel. The Plug Spin Wheel. There you go. Plug Spin Wheel with Doug the Plug. You guys, thank you for joining us. We saw this gentleman perform. We sat down with him. We got to know a little bit more about him. Make sure you follow him, like, share, comment. But best of all, you guys are always a community of individuals that are inspiring one another to grow. Mm -hmm. Only here at the Plug Radio LA, where you guys get plugged and stay, stay connected. connected. What up? It's your boy Doug the Plug with Chrissy Love with the Plug Radio LA, where you get plugged and stay connected. All right, y'all, we're back. And this segment is MC Trio. And the second guest that we got performing live, by the way, of Jacksonville, North Carolina, Konya Gunner. Yeah. Don't like to drink too much. Snoop still running back up. A nigga been out here catching plays. Yeah. Ain't no trap boy dumb. I'm gonna doubt on the yacht out of two lunch. Ooh. Ain't no shit this stuff. Free bitch, free bitch, free bitch, free bitch. Ooh, all my bitch have to fuck out. Little chance of big butt. Ooh, she my pussy looks like. Like Quinn and Slim, run for the motherfucking bag. Never gonna run the shit up. Ain't fuck with them, cause y'all niggas out here broke. That can't sit with up. Big Kanye just like who got 99 problems. But a little bitch ain't more. Run for the bag like Jack. That's magic. I'm nervous, nervous to pack it, land it. My diamonds are talented, them bitches are dancing. Icy, 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 that's vanilla. I'm just a little machine. This ain't cool yet. Yeah. You're running up prices of pussy. I do not know what to tell them. Ain't got no time for bitches, all in they feel it. Started to play, oh no, I can feel it. Bitch, my meat, this shit ain't no image. Ran the back, the look is my wit. Spat like Tago, nigga, on fish. I'm pressing the bitch to the fence, take a pitch. I'm just a little drinking, I'm just a little drinking. I'm just a little drinking for all my legs. Don't like this, I drip too much. Ooh, you know that nigga running back up. A nigga went out here. Catch his place, yeah. ain't no trap one dumb. I die on the yacht, I'm too dumb and lush. Ooh. Ain't no shit up. Freak bitch, freak bitch, freak bitch, freak bitch. Ooh, all my bitch have She got little chest, big butt. Ooh, she my personal slut. I'm going to slim, run for the motherfucking bag. And we gon' run the shit up. Can't fuck with them, y'all niggas out here broke. They can't sit with us. Big Kong, yeah, just like ho, got 99 problems, but a little bitch ain't one. So, what was the inspiration behind that song? Because I know you, I know you got multiple catalogs. So, yeah. tell me some. It was just how I was feeling at the morning. I mean, at the moment, excuse me. I was just lit, shit. Like, I'm lit now, <laughs> shit. Okay, okay. So you were just partying, getting the vibe, you know, hyping so up. Turn up real quick. Hey, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, would you mind sticking around for an interview? Absolutely. All right. I'll hook it up with Chrissy Love on the hookup. Okay. And we'll get it going from there. Appreciate you it. You already here first on the Plug Radio Late. This segment is MC Trio. I'm your boy TZ, and this is Cognac Gun. Good, good. Well, welcome back. This is your third time here at the Plug Radio Lake because you know we love you. Yes, ma'am. Love you, too. We love you. You're always icy. You're always hot. Um, and you're continuously reinventing yourself. Absolutely. So that's why I like to have you back because you're such an inspiration. So tell us, what have you been up to? Well, lately I've been managing uh, models and strippers. Wow. I've been uh, promoting parties, throwing events for local rappers. Okay. And integrating with the strippers. Nice. And um, I'm recently back to rapping. Oh, so you switched it all up. Absolutely. So you went from rapping to modeling, I mean, to managing models, doing these parties. Absolutely. And now you're getting back into your artistry. Now I'm back into the artistry. So why did you stop? And what made you kind of pivot into this new business? Really, um, I had a, a sit-down meeting with uh, with MMG, mm -hmm. and I spoke with an a &R, and he told me that he liked my music, but I didn't do enough business. Um, and he said it didn't sit well with my music because I didn't have enough business going on. So I stepped out of the artist lane to create businesses. Nice. Um, I started managing, started throwing parties, started creating things uh, that, that would take my platform to another level as far as being an artist. And uh, now that I have a platform and I got, I got things like that, now I'm back to the music where I have a platform to give it to now. Got you. And are you doing like the parties and the managing models out here in L.A.? or? Um, I really started in, in, in North Carolina. Um, okay. Simply, simply my idea was, um, with the help of some others, my idea was to get the local rappers from different areas and have them bring them and their crews all together and they integrated with the dancers. 
Okay. You know nice. what I mean? So um, basically the artists will perform and the dancers will dance where the artists will perform. Makes sense. Artists are required to throw money, so it, it's a, a lit night. Night, it sounds lit. Absolutely. So tell me, how is it all working out throwing parties in the age of coronavirus? Um, it's been very difficult. Mm -hmm. It's been imagine. very difficult, mm -hmm. um, especially with them closing down all the clubs. Um, and then me being in a smaller city, it's not so many. Um, so I've constantly had to change locations. I constantly have to uh, be mindful who I'm promoting to, sometimes promote private. Yeah. Um, because it's literally, we in the days and age where like, they trying to shut everything down, like regardless, and us being people that make money yeah. off doing parties, like when it's shut down, like, you know, what we left with, for real. Yeah, it's hard though, but yeah. you still keep pushing, so you're not letting anything shut you down. I've been blessed, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. You're always blessed. So speaking about you um, getting back into your, you know, artistry, what do you think, um, or what are your thoughts? Should artists stay independent, or would you recommend they sign with labels? Well, I believe that depends on what the individual artist's goal is, because um, some people are already made stars, um, but they don't have the funds or they don't have the resources and they need a label to, to perpetuate their career versus some of us that come out the street you know we more in tune with um you know providing services for people so we really don't need nobody to teach us how to sell things we've been selling things our whole life been hustling all your life absolutely so next question this is coming from your fans okay if you could make music in any decade what decade would that be and why hmm. I'm in love with the 70s. Mm. I would, but I think that I would probably have to say the 90s. Okay. Um, just because, like, even as a kid, I was in love with the 90s. You yeah. know what I mean? And uh, it was such a raw era. I, I feel like I would have loved to have been, you know, in that place making music. Yeah, no, it was. A lot of artists were able to break through a lot of barriers. So a lot of great music was made. So, Absolutely. gosh, am I... You weren't okay. We won't talk about that anymore because now we reveal my true age. But we're gonna move oh, on no. oh, to no. the next question. This is coming from one of your fans okay. in Dakota. You got fans in Dakota. Oh wow. As an artist, are you hot sauce or sriracha? As an artist, am I hot sauce? Sauce or sriracha? I'm we're taking it to the food. I'm definitely hot sauce. Hot sauce? Why? Oh, God, I'm hot like that. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you got our theme song here I'm on the sweet. Plug Radio Lay. You're always so willing to give 110% of yourself. Absolutely. But today's theme is setting free. Okay. So how we're able to set free from the past and move on to the future? Uh, I would pretty much say like... Um, I'm a very much an analyst and things that I've learned about life is one of the most valuable lessons is setting yourself free from people. Mm -hmm. um, it's the only way that you can really ascend. Um, and then I feel like for myself, I had to have a talk with myself and let myself know that there was a lot of time being wasted in people. And, and if I continue to waste time in people, well, mm -hmm. I can't, you know, believe that I'm going to see a different result. Mm -hmm. And so I had to, that was one of the things I personally had to work on with myself is being able to cut feelings and cut people in time and save myself some time from dealing with certain people and certain things, certain emotions, certain thoughts, certain feelings, certain actions, all of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but that's all a part of discipline. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you have to master how to set yourself free because mm. other people will take you on another path that you find yourself not want to be on. No, oh, I heard you on that one. Absolutely. And you said time three times because time is important. It's we don't important. have a lot of it. You won't, you won't know how much you wasted your time on people until it's over with, with mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Then you look back and you realize, damn, I lost a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's real. So your next ventures, tell us. Um, Right now, I mean, I'm so set free. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm literally just doing what I enjoy. Um, I mean, right now I'm just coasting. Um, everything that I'm doing, I'm, I'm applying more pressure. I'm working a lot harder. I'm a lot more focused. So uh, everything that I'm doing now, I'm just going to continue to build and to make it better. Where are we going to see all this happen? How can everyone find you? Okay. I'm on all social media, Cognac Gunner. Uh, Twitter is Cognac underscore Gunner, con uh, underscore, excuse me. Uh, and then Facebook is Jerome Jones. Uh, Clubhouse is Cognac Gunner. 
uh, pretty much Cognac on everything. All social media platforms. Yes. But you guys, before we head out, don't forget this gentleman literally from the bottom of his heart gave us our theme song. I walked, walked in, in with, with the plug. plug. Absolutely. And I love you for that because I was like, can I use that? And you said, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And that's how we progress because we help each other out. Absolutely. And I appreciate you that. Oh, oh can't talk. I'm so sorry you make me so nervous. <laughs> I appreciate you for that. Right. And for continuously supporting us here at the Plug Radio. I'm very thankful. Can I can I share something? Yeah. Oh, please do. Oh, yeah. I remember like, uh, I remember like, I always consider you one of my dear friends like because, um, Coming to LA and going to school and me being like kind of a person to myself, you was somebody I really connected with, you know, and I really was thankful for that because that helped me get through two degrees. Oh you know God, what I mean? So you. I'm thankful. And I'm thankful for you. And you know, I always got your back and we're always supporting you here at the Plug Radio LA. Where you guys get plugged and stay connected, check out our boy Cognac Gunna, he's family. And this is your girl Chrissy Love and we're out. What's up, it's your boy Cognac Gunna. I'm rocking with the Plug Radio LA, where you get plugged in and you stay connected, you dig? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Plug Spin Wheel. Today, we got Cognac Gunner. Yeah, yeah. What you gonna get with the first, let's see. What's your last text message? <laughs> mm. Oh, that's the trap phone. Oh no, the trap phone. Oh no, no, phone. you can't grab the trap phone. <laughs> Uh -oh. Let's get ready for this one. I mean, we keep talking about it. It should become a thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chris, you heard it here first. <laughs> it should become a thing. Oh, cool. Ooh, Ooh, truth or dare? Oh. Does Kanye Dada ever get nervous around females? Oh. And you're around them all day. <laughs> you know, honestly, I get nervous around certain females. Mm -hmm. But it never lasts long. Ah! <laughs> it never lasts long. It never lasts long. Well, it's like it never rains in Southern California. But you guys, <laughs> we are out. We've had a great time. We sat down with family. No. It inspired you to grow. You guys, he's set free. You guys need to do it as well. Make sure you guys stay tuned only here on the Plug Radio Lay where you guys get plugged and stay connected. This is your girl Chrissy Love. And your boy Cheesy.